I'm sitting in the prayer room of Wesleyan Church headquarters. You will note behind me a map, and a map with post-it notes. Those are prayer requests. Today I bring you a large prayer request, and that prayer request is for the suffering people in Sierra Leone and Liberia, West Africa. Why do we bring that to you today? Because the Wesleyan Church has been in Sierra Leone literally over 100 years, and Liberia less years than that. And I want to bring you our family, our Wesleyan family of some 300 churches and over 50,000 Wesleyan, your Wesleyan brothers and sisters. They are suffering. They are suffering under this Ebola crisis at this time. The outbreak is focused in one of the areas in Sierra Leone where most Wesleyans live. I'm appealing to you today to pray. God can heal. God can deliver. But at the same time, he's also calling us to do what we can do to prevent this disease and to stop it. The Wesleyan Church has a hospital, and the hospital is in Kamakui, which is in the north part of the country. This hospital services over 100,000 people, the only hospital for these folks. And at present, we do not even have a doctor in this hospital. Therefore, I'm calling on you to give. We need to give so that we can supply this hospital. But I also want to tell you that we have uh, medical personnel from the United States that are going. Next week, Carrie Jo Kendi Kane is going. She's a medical person. Carrie Jo grew up in Sierra Leone. She knows the language, and she's going directly to the hospital to help the hospital to be prepared with supplies that we want to send with her with the funds that you are giving. After that, Dr. Diane Foley will be going. Dr. Diane Foley will be working with Usman Forna, the National Superintendent, and World Hope out in the communities doing training and helping people to prevent this horrible, deadly disease. You've seen it on TV. You've seen the need. And I want to tell you that today the Wesleyan Church and World Hope are standing together with their Wesleyan brothers and sisters in Sierra Leone and Liberia. Will you please stand with us? And we're praying that during this time, people may see the gospel of Jesus in new ways and that out of evil may come good. In other words, we overcome evil with good. And out of this evil, we will see people come to Jesus Christ and love him for who he is. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for who you are. And may God bless us as we work together for his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven.